Hey, let's go. We're already on our way for the next travel video. Come on, let's go. Head to the car. Well, I don't know about you guys. We've been on the road for three hours. So it's time to eat at the fish place, Nord Sea. Stretch your legs, catch our breath. Still got an hour to go. So I think this is a good, uh, good stop. So why don't you come on in and have lunch. We've got our lunch. As you'll see here, I got the fish with cheese and mushrooms, buttered potatoes, buttered vegetables, and she got fish filet, buttered vegetables, and string beans. So this is our lunch on the road. You have a good lunch? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's time to get down the road. Still got an hour to go to get to Bison. So let's go. So we're waiting for the tour to start. It starts it's about a half an hour. So this is just a sampling of some of the stuff they have at the uh, factory. As you can see, the, the Voss here, 36.66 euro. This has 8,000 single Meissen porcelain made petals. It's the largest freestanding porcelain sculpture in the world. Wow, this jewelry case is just freaking amazing. It, you just... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the detail. Oh my God. 550,000 euro. Again, just wow. For those of you that like dragons. We just finished the uh, workshop that showed how they make the porcelain. So Meissen porcelain is all handmade and it's all hand painted and oh, I mean you can see the prices. But when you look at the detail and the hours that would go into making each and every one of these pieces, I mean, yeah, if I had, yeah, if I had the money, I can, I can, I could easily see spending the money for this type of porcelain. I mean, even if it's only a little bit, um, it's just amazing. So this is the walk-in section after you've come into the the uh, museum. they got a large section here. You come out from the demonstration area into this area. This stuff is all for sale. It's just so, everything is so beautiful. I mean, yeah, if money were no option, uh, this is definitely a place to shop for some really fine porcelain. They actually use gold in the production. There were some very beautiful pieces with this uh, gold as part of the uh, porcelain uh, wear here. All these statues here are just, I mean, the detail is just amazing. You really can't see it here with this uh, GoPro 4 Hero. Uh, you probably need a point and shoot or a digital SLR to get a better 
more close-up shot of these porcelain figures in these shelves and stuff like that. This whole stand here is porcelain. It's not just this really beautiful uh, design on top. Oh, so they talk about the three minerals that they use to make porcelain. Here again, a beautiful vase. Porcelain figures mounted on the wall. And there's actually porcelain figures here in the shelves as well. Again, the attention to detail is just amazing. I like the birds here. Yeah. How many hours it would take just to place all those? bunch of individual petals and stuff like that on that porcelain wire. And the detail in the dress and the clothes and the shoes. Just absolutely beautiful. You can just see, start to see the intricacies on those three pieces on the right. And even these here. This is a figure that it's actually interlocking pieces and as you'll see here you can go around the full 360 degrees. Just detail of all these different animals in the woods. There's a some more very intricate porcelain ware here on these shelves as well. Really, it's a place you need to visit or take a look at least at the website that I put on the earlier part of the video here. It's actually a skinned deer there on top of that bowl. Looks like they've made a sculpture of all the failed uh, forms of these bowls put together. Um, all the rejects made into a sculpture. Yep, no sound here. Having a coffee at the Meissen coffee shop. 